What's up guys, my name is Matt Smith. Welcome to the channel. If you're a business owner, hit that subscribe button right now as this channel is all about helping you grow and scale your business as I've sold tens of millions of dollars of products and services over the last 10 years. And this channel is solely just to help you avoid some of the mistakes that I've made in the past so you can become successful faster. Today we're talking about the five traits of successful people. And this isn't just based on my life, this is based on all the people that are in my life that are high level achievers. And so today I wanna to go over the top five things that I have seen over the last 10 or so years of being in business and being surrounded by people doing big things that I think are a must have in your life if you want to be successful. The first thing is your circle of friends or what I like to call circle of influence. The people that you surround yourself with. There's a quote out there that goes something along the lines of, if you wanna see your future, show me your friends. And what that means is you will become like the people you surround yourself with. So for example, if you wanna get in shape but you only surround yourself with people who eat like crap and are overweight, the odds of you getting in shape are very, very small. If you wanna build a big business but you don't surround yourself with any other entrepreneurs, the odds of you growing a business or being in business at all are very, very small. So the circle of friends that you surround yourself with are critical and it's very healthy to be upgrading friends as you go in life. If you're always surrounding yourself with the same people that are doing the same things throughout their entire life, odds are you will be the next person to do that exact thing. So for me, it has been critical to surround myself with people that are doing bigger things. You're like, well, Matt, I don't have anyone in my life like that. Then go find them. I've been very, very good at introducing myself or taking people out to lunch or, or getting in other circles of influence just by simply asking. Successful people will allow you to come in their circle if you do two things. First, you are willing to learn from them. And second, if you actually implement the things they teach. So your circle of influence is huge. Number two are money habits. What are your money habits like? If you cannot manage your money when you're broke, you will never be able to manage your money when you're rich. All successful people I know have sacrificed massively when it comes to money. And so here's the thing that I've always done really well, is even when my businesses were, were just getting going and after a year or two, we started to get to that $70,000 a month mark, I was still only paying myself got like a thousand bucks a week as a salary. And the rest of that money would get dumped back into the business to scale it and to scale it and to scale it. And so my income personally was very low because I was willing to sacrifice short term for the long term gain. The biggest mistake I see business owners make is they start to grow a business, they start to make a little bit of money, and they go out, they buy new trucks, they upgrade their house, they buy the boat, whatever it is to upgrade their lifestyle because they aren't willing to wait that extra five or 10 years to get them to where they really wanna be, and then their business has never really reached the potential it could have. Number three is how they spend their time. Successful people are extremely particular on how they spend their time. You will rarely see successful people getting wasted at the bar on a Friday or Saturday night. Why? Because two things. A, the circle of people they surround themselves with aren't out doing those things. And B, they understand that doing that activity isn't going to get them closer to where they want to be in life. Now, that's not saying successful people don't have fun. Their fun just looks a lot different than the average person's fun does. And so the way they spend their time on a regular basis is huge. That's why they don't take meetings that aren't going to further them. That's why they don't waste their time on activities inside their business that are low level activities. They would rather hire that out so they can focus on the high level activities. Time management for successful people is massive. Number four is their focus. They are laser focused on the task at hand in the business they are in. Here's one thing I see entrepreneurs do all the time and it's probably the biggest reason why they will never be successful. It's because they bounce from idea to idea to idea and they never build anything to any significant size. Entrepreneurs have this gifting where they can see ideas that most people can't. However, the one thing they struggle with is to focus on one singular idea for a long period of time, grow it into a big business that's producing revenue or even become sellable before they move on to the next thing. So successful people I know are really good at focusing on the one thing at hand, building it really big before they move on to the next idea. And last but not least is their relationship with their significant other or spouse. Every successful person I know who is a high level achiever, who is in a relationship 
or, or married has a relationship with somebody who is fully on board with the lifestyle that an entrepreneur lives. If you have a spouse or significant other that is always nagging on you, saying you work too much, saying you're not around enough, doesn't understand why you wanna work so hard, doesn't understand how you could be passionate about your business, that person is going to drag you to the ground and the odds of you being successful and reaching your potential in business and in life is going to be very, very small. So the, the idea that you picked the right person and you were very clear when you're dating or when you're thinking about getting married that that person is on board. They understand the life that you live. They understand the passions that you have. This is a must. Every single high level achiever I know who is in a relationship or who is married is married to somebody who is on board. And that doesn't necessarily mean that, that the person they're married to has their hands in the business. It just means they're their number one supporter. One of my really good friends, Josh Latimer, told me this about his wife. He said, my wife is my superpower. She is one of the reasons I'm most successful. She sees things I don't see. She has ideas I don't have. She calls me out when I'm, I'm not living to my highest potential. That is the type of person that you want to have on your team. You need a teammate, not somebody who is against you. And so these are the top five traits of successful people. I hope this brings you a little bit of clarity. And if you guys have any questions, my email is always in the show notes. And I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe now.